What I'd like to show you next is uh, how to create uh, summary data using SQL group by expressions, but to do that in terms of uh, uh, the filter query that we already defined. So we're going to go back to our Eclipse. And um, I was working on the orders query in the last screencast. I've extended that query a little bit to pull some related employee name information. So basically just adding this join clause and these two columns for last name and first name because we're going to need those in the summary data. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, make a new SQL query. This will, the one we'll call order summary SQL. Again, we need to always specify our access equal access content. Oops. And we'll say select star from, and we're using a SQL syntax that's called subqueries, where you can specify an inner query in parentheses and give it a table alias for Postgres users. Um, so, uh, but in this case, we're going to you know, say that the interior SQL comes from the orders.sql block that we've already created. So I'm going to say include equals orders, and that will load the orders data block for the interior um, for the interior query. So let's go ahead and save that. Take a look at it using the query uh, builder tool, just like before. Oops, summary. There's our order summary query. We'll load that. And what we see is exactly the same query with exactly the same parameters that we had had before. Uh, that's not really all that exciting, but now let's go ahead and start summarizing data. So in this case, I'll change the select star. We're going to use SQL group by expressions, and we're going to select uh, we're going to select customer ID, and we're also going to uh, select first name. And uh, actually, we we need uh, employee ID. first name and whoops and the last name from the orders query and we're going to add group buys to this so we're going to say group by and in this case, I'm going to group by customer ID. So if you're familiar with uh, SQL syntax, you know that uh, we can't actually, uh, oh, customer ID, actually an employee ID. If you're familiar with SQL syntax, you know that you can't actually include uh, a first name column like this if it isn't also in the group by expression. Uh, so when I'm uh, doing data that where I want the labels to kind of go with the grouping by employee ID, then I'm going to use the max uh, command. Uh, there should be only one allowable value for each employee for first name and last name. So this won't actually change the data, but, uh, but it will allow me to specify uh, uh, these extra columns for uh, the, the max first name and the max last name. And the other thing we need is we need some totals, right? So let's, let's include a count of the orders, right? And and then uh, just for fun, we'll also include the sum of the freight. Again, these are columns that I'm uh, getting from my original query, which is all here. And let's so we'll go ahead and save that. And now let's go ahead and reload this query because the data's changed. And so that's our new source. And that is then our summary data. Now it's important to know that even though I am grouping by, and in here we're using a query that shows us a grouping by customer ID and employee ID, all of the filter criteria still applies. So if I want to specify an employee ID of 
four, then I will see, uh, then it will get the summary of only those records that are employee ID four. If, however, I change this and instead of that, do a customer ID of rat C, then I'll get the employee breakdown uh, associated with, um, with, with that, the customer rat C. Then furthermore, if I were to specify shipping criteria, I could, the shipping criteria, even though it's not included in the group by, is still filtered. So we can specify that we can know that this then is a different total based on only shipping criteria of two. Whereas if we leave it blank, um, then the numbers change based on, uh, based on things that we used all shipping methods. Well, that's enough for now. Um, the next screencast, we're hoping to get into using this data uh, in, some, in some graphs.